so I just want to give a uh, very quick update on this uh, on the specialized fuse 650B plus <coughs> um, I've been riding it for some time now and, and I have to say that I just I love it but today I'm gonna talk very specifically about how it rides in muddy conditions because I've been out on somewhat of a muddy ride wet muddy um so i just wanna i'm gonna i'm gonna return to that in just a minute um first and foremost i have to say that today i rode some trails that i normally wouldn't ride if it's you know if it's been raining within the last couple of hours or even days because they would just be so slippery that my uh, 29er hardtail would just slide around they would be funny to ride you know it would be fun to ride those trails but i uh, i i would usually have to to get off perhaps that's because or due to a lack of physical strength uh, but you know, i wanted to test it out today i wanted to to go out on trails where i suspected that this one or this bike would do better than used to but also where I had a you know an idea that it wouldn't you know they wouldn't be able to get up um, to you know, really really test it uh, before I get to that I just want to say a few things about the bike um, fork a many two fork I was sort of skeptical about it you know I hadn't really heard about Oh, yeah, I hadn't tr tried riding anything with the Manitou fork, but it you know, works brilliantly. I haven't had any issues with it. Uh, it doesn't lock out fully. I don't know if if that's a uh, if that's anything to do with that fork, or if it's just you know, uh, something that I have to get to get adjusted. But yeah, I'm going to talk to my dealer about that. If you know, then you know, let me know. Um, secondly, I did have, you know, I, I did worry about the gear ratio, a 30 tooth in the front and a 40 tooth in the back. Uh, I would go normally for the 32, I think, uh, in the front and then perhaps the 42 in the back, but, you know, this gear ratio is just, it's just fine. Um, I will probably go, when, when this is, you know, when this has, you know, paid its due, then I, I might do that but for now it's uh, it's fine um, the dropper post I love it um, it's uh, I do have this I think the lever is just a little bit you know, wiggly but I tightened it up and it's better but it's not it's not perfect I don't know if it's better on, on the higher end uh, dropper posts but I just love it and I'm definitely gonna continue uh, right in a dropper post now for the right characteristics of this bike in the mud I just have to say I was I was amazed it just you know, powered up everything and I think that grip makes up for you know it, it, it gives you a feeling that you have a lower gear than you do because it just powers up everything I think I lost traction once um, but it just regained traction so so quickly I was uh, I was just amazed so um, I'm gonna give it a clean now it's pretty pretty dirty uh, but yeah so far so good what am I gonna do with this uh, now you know I'm not gonna do any uh, upgrading on it um, I'm, I'm probably gonna you know change the grips because these are not the most comfy of grips but I don't know what I would want. Uh, I've tried the ESI grips, like them, but you know, I'm not. I, I could do something else. Um, a bit of a complaint is that the rear wheel is actually already out, of, you know, without a true. Uh, so I'm going to have to get that fixed. Perhaps I'm a bit too heavy. I don't know, but but generally, I, I just love it. I love this bike. I'm. I have. I still have my 29er heart tail. Um, and I, I rode that on a uh, on a stretch where it was a lot of tarmac, uh, 
and I just regretted that instantly. I, I just loved this bike. It's so much fun and it's so nimble and it's so comfortable. So that's it for now. Um, if you have any comments, questions, just uh, leave them. And uh, yeah, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.